What's going on guys, Dan Kale here from Liquidation Pros and just want to make a quick video, give you guys an update, it's been a little while. Um, I have a new connection for Amazon returns and I'm super pumped at what I'm getting. I have a, I didn't really video the unboxing yet because for one it's kind of a mess down here and I'm just getting started. But I kind of wanted to open a few things up and get an idea of what I have. So basically the stuff I'm buying, if it's large items, it's just loose. Kind of like what you see here. Like these few items here are all big items but normally they're in these big like 24 by 20 boxes and i've gone through about uh i went through two i believe yeah two so far and you know just packed full of inventory so this box i haven't even been through yet but there's an oem tool set um now granted i did open this up so you guys just could see but Oh, there's some Everlast gloves. The, the crazy thing about this load is most of the stuff is all pretty good. And the seller did did put on there condition-wise. It's very good. Now, I don't agree 100%. I found some broken stuff that they said was in excellent condition or very good condition. So you can't really go by that. Here's a deluxe tire cover. Uh, this one here is for Penn State. So anyhow, I haven't gone through that box yet. I have gone through two. Now, not everything over here is from this. For instance, this is some Target stuff that I had. There's still some hardware stuff that I have up here from um, the build.com buy that I did. But here's a few items that I've cherry picked that I'm super excited about. Pretty much, this is all, these are all fishing reels, including this. There's a couple mag lights that are all brand new still. And then there's a, uh, a little gun safe here as well. Oh, what's it say? illuminated anyhow i haven't looked at that yet um i have looked through all these fishing reels except this one this one I haven't opened yet it's kind of ripped up but i'll open it now um, this one here is freaking insane and the only issue i see is that the case is damaged so check out this pen this is an offshore uh deep sea fishing reel but it's customized pen did like a special limited edition and check this out. Let me get this in the light. Tell me how cool that is. Let's come over here. It's a little better lighting. United we stand. It's got the American flag um, printed on the inside of it. And then it says, give me li liberty or give me death. Pen limited edition 2020. This thing is like $1,100. As far as I can tell, it's in mint condition, if not brand new it's got the accessory pack in there and everything else um, with the case i think the main reason is the the little clips on the case here are broken off so they probably returned it for that um that was shocked this one item is going to pay for most most of the pallet so i'm paying about a thousand dollars a pallet is what it breaks down to be I'm paying right around 10 percent of retail which is really good uh, and that's actually after i'm paying about 10 percent with shipping included so now this, this one I haven't opened. Uh, give me one second. I'll just rip the bag open real quick. Um, now I've been lucking out with the fishing reels to where they've all been in mint condition. Let's see if this one's ever been used. Um, once again, it looks like it's a little dusty. Now we'll have to kind of test it out, but it doesn't appear like it's been used. There's all the brackets and the bolts and the tools. Um, some of these are like $200 a piece, so I have two of those now. I think these two are around $200. And I have some other ones that are around. This one's like around around the same, $200. This one I think is around like $100 uh, for a spin, Okuma spinning reel. And then this here is another Shimano reel. And this is a bait casting reel. Uh, I don't don't remember the pricing offhand you can see the model numbers right on the box if you're curious but at 10 percent of retail i cannot believe this type of inventory that i'm getting there's a bunch of these um they're like dog rugs i guess maybe a bed or i'm not even 100 sure the brand is um dirty dog dirty dog doormats a bunch of those were mixed in a couple of the boxes and then some of the bigger items I pulled off. I've already sold a couple. Um, I sold a gun case and a bow and arrow case. This is another bow, uh, Ricker bow case, hybrid, whatever. This is a gun case. Um, these riding boots are pretty sweet. Let me show you these real quick. These are like $300 a piece. This 
so check out these riding boots um this first pair i did open the other one i have not but these look like they're brand new those are like um you know like professional motorcycle alpine stars these are size 11 they're mid condition they still have the wraps on them the buckles and all that are good um somebody probably tried one of them on, and it was too tight and they returned it so these probably around 200 dollars on ebay retail them is 349 so something like that i paid 35 bucks for because 10 percent of 350 35 bucks super pump and it's been some uh some really really good inventory i have a lot to go through so so far um i've purchased five pallets for my supplier and i actually have five more on the way already um plan to do a bunch of videos showing you guys some of the stuff uh, here's a few things down here as well this is a 200 dollar saltwater fishing rod it's like a compact um who makes this one i think it was Daiwa. yeah Daiwa. you can look up that it's uh saltiga saltiga travel 632 mhs this is like 200 bucks it's in there it's in mint condition there's a bb gun here's another like i don't know gun case type thing holster brand new with the tag and um these are i mean just a bunch of other bigger items that i've kind of pulled to the side so we're just now starting to go through this stuff uh we're going to start listing a few of these items but pretty happy uh, i have been pulling aside like flea market type stuff and i've been i've been listing it as i do it because i wasn't sure if some of the lower end stuff if anyone else would might be interested basically what i'm doing is if it's like 40 40 50 bucks or less so i'm trying to get like this i mean basically what most liquidators do is they pick out the good stuff this is why you don't see stuff like this in straight amazon returns because it's already been picked out so uh potentially selling some of the i mean it's still good this is like a 30 dollar uh t-square this is a grill cover there's a ucf blanket um there's like a pool workout thing it's like you know 10 15 20 items all day long oh what's this now, this is like a 20 dollar um craft it's a special roller uh here's a little san francisco 49ers hat so miscellaneous stuff these are jeep lights but the problem is I don't know whether they're good or not. So for me, I'm not going to take that chance. I'd just rather unload them down the flea market, let someone else deal with it. So I don't like pushing that stuff on and, and like uh, sugarcoating and being like, oh, this is like excellent inventory and you're going to make a kill. And it's, it's pretty going to be pretty decent stuff that I could, like I said, I can unload down the flea market. But if anyone's interested, I could share along my save, the savings I got to you guys. So uh, I could do like a liquidation box and just charge 10% or whatever the retail is. So it would probably be uh, plenty of plenty of meat on the bone. A $20 item, you'd only be paying $2 for. The only issue would be shipping, depending on where you are. I'm in Maryland on the East Coast. So it's if you're anywhere nearby, UPS ground, it won't be too bad. But if you're in like California or somewhere on the West Coast, it's probably not going to be worth it. Just because shipping is probably going to cost as much as the, the inventory will for me anyway. I don't do enough. Um, I do have a commercial shipping rate, but it's not. I don't do enough to get it really low, like some of the bigger companies. So anyhow, just a quick video showing you some of the cool finds I got. This was really um, one of the coolest things I ever came across. It's a thousand dollar reel. Maybe I'll pop a um, a link showing the price on the website I saw it on. It's not even on Amazon anymore. I don't think anyone really has it. There's one seller I believe on eBay. Uh, I think this vault here is like I want to say 150, 200 bucks off the top of my head. I did not inspect that, but it looks like it's all there. We can do a quick look with you guys here. Just to see what we got. It's just so much stuff, guys. There's like brake calipers. Um, just, I mean, it's still wrapped up. So it would need to be tested, but there's the keys, the mountain bolts. All that is all still sealed up, and it has the bag. Good chance it's probably okay. There is, like in here check these these are like two hundred dollars these are brake caliper covers so and it's all there everything here everything on the shelf here is pretty much ready to go there's a uh, fishing scale that's like 30 or 40 bucks um this probably doesn't this will probably go this is i think only 15 bucks it's like an ammo case so that should probably go with the liquidation stuff um this is like a 40 dollar uh trail which is kind of crazy that those cost that much, but they do. And this I was thinking about keeping because I have this for the back of uh, either a van or SUV, one of these racks. 
And that way, if you are taking a longer trip, like we take the kids down to Florida or something, we're not taking the camper, um, we could cover up any extra luggage on the back there. So I thought that was cool, but it does sell for around 50. So knowing me, I'll probably end up just selling it. And then uh, these, some of these, uh, these are like 70, anywhere from like 50 to 80 bucks for these dirty dog doormats. Um, I'm not sure, I got a bunch of them. I'm not sure, I might, probably the smaller ones that aren't too heavy, add them into the liquidation deal, just because I'm gonna have so many of them. But I could also take them down to flea market as well. I don't know, I'm, I don't know if anybody, I looked online, a few of them are selling new, but I didn't see anybody selling like used or open box, so. And shipping's probably gonna be, you know, they're gonna be two to three pounds, so you're gonna be in that next level of shipping. I'm not quite sure what, what to do with those. Probably a local sale on them or in the liquidation box but anyhow quick video hope you guys enjoyed it just showing you a few of the uh, highlights of this last load i got I'm gonna make this was about half so what you've seen so far is only half of one pallet of inventory um the sma retail on the pallet was around ten thousand dollars and i paid a thousand bucks for it with shipping included and it was like eight i think around 800 and then uh or 700 and it was about 300 bucks to ship shipping is so expensive right now but the way it worked out for all the five pallets, I was into everything with shipping just under $5,000. So I just estimated to be $1,000 a pallet. And I mean, this one pallet, this item, if it sells for, I think probably $700 I'll get for this plus shipping. Because even with the damaged case, if anyone's, if anyone wants this reel to actually fish with, they don't care about this case. Because they're never going to put it back in there. It's going to be on a rod. A bunch of these, on average, these are all $100, $150 a piece. So... I've already probably doubled my money on this pallet with only going through half of it. So good, good looking inventory. Um, shoot me a message. My email is down in the description below if you're interested in any of this uh, possibly liquidation boxes. I don't have it all together yet, but if there are people interested, I'll I'll try to um, pursue that. If I don't get much interest just from my followers, probably just going to take it to the flea market and uh, unload it. I'll be down there in about a month. It's already. October already so you're probably seeing this it's gonna be the middle of October by the time you see this video and um, It's gonna be time to get down there for the holiday season. So it's a mess down here the Liquidation pros headquarters in the basement here, but we're making progress um, Selling a lot of stuff right now shipping about 20 to 30 items a day on eBay, which is good I just sent out 44 items today, uh, but I've, I'm running a sale so I hope you guys are doing well, your sales are doing well, and you're out there uh, making some money. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.